Concatenation is a synthesis method that simply combines short snippets of a sound to create a larger sound. It is often used for automated sounds like speech synthesis and pretty much any time you want to play back samples with different lengths back to back. So here's an example. Bold heroes kill the dragon. Heroes kill the bold dragon. Kill the dragon. Bold heroes. We can use this method for quite a few things in game audio. And one of the things that I find it really useful for is to improve how footsteps are played back and how they sound in the game. So a common method to create footsteps audio in games is to record a footstep and then add some more and that way create some variation and often by randomizing pitch and levels. But if we instead split the footstep into an attack section and an end section and randomize between them, we've instantly created much more variation. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using FMOD and Action Sheets, but this method can be used in most game audio implementations, regardless if it's done using a middleware or an editor system. To begin with, we need to edit the footsteps so they are split into an attack section and an end section. Technically, this should probably be referred to as an attack and a decay section, but let's skip the formality for now. Then we rename the files with their different categories and render them to disk. In FMOD, I'm going to use an action sheet to play back the sounds as this triggers the instruments in a sequential order, but as we can use multi instruments, we can also apply a randomization. In this case, I'm using shuffle randomization as this ensures that the same sound isn't being played twice in a row. So we'll start by adding two multi instruments and then drag our sounds into the playlists. The attack sounds go to the top instruments and the end sound to the bottom instrument. Now, when we play the action back, it will trigger both the attack and end sounds as a continuous event. We can also use an envelope to control the decay of the event. We'll set it to a short attack and decay time. And note that you can use the peak value to set the level. You can of course trigger this as an event in itself, but as we're likely to use more than one footstep type, like grass, wood and other types, I'm going to add this to a footstep event where I can use a terrain type parameter to control which footstep type is being played back. So we'll drag our action sheet into the event to make it referenced. And as you can see, I'm dragging it directly into the parameter sheet as I'm not planning to use any automation at this point. And in Unity, I have this set up so I can add the event as a string. So we'll copy the path. And then we'll paste that into Unity. And then just press play.
Thanks for watching this video and hopefully it was helpful. If you want to use the scripts from this video, you can watch my tutorial on sound and collider material sync in Unity on this channel and the link is in the description.